187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. Okay. What's with that get up of yours anyway? I should start introducing. I wonder if we'll see Rusty. Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I literally hate you. I really you. hope you're joking, Roy. I really hate Roy. There we go. I think we should be able to finish by tonight, which I am super excited for, because I'm actually going to have a decent partner. <coughs> that isn't Roy. Like, Rusty was kind of bad. Roy's just horrible. I think Roy drive. Can you drive to this one? There we go. You seem distracted. We recovered the morphine. Yeah. I mean, Some of it, it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting oh, our time Jesus. following this stuff? <clears throat> Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. Jesus. <laughs> Not gonna miss you at all, Roy. Not even a little bit. Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Awesome. Thanks. Bukowski, you made homicide. Bukowski! Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? Or can Rusty, we get Rusty, you're too far. Relax, Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers so. likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub, rest in peace. Rusty, did you not learn? Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, sure. I miss you, right Bukowski. Ahead. You were a really good partner. You're actually a really good cop, too. God. Phelps? Mal, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result... Okay is that a lot of foam is generated. Makes this sense. foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our day? May I took a look? Be my guest. Is that ump? Okay, hold on. First... Take a closer look at her head and neck. What's those little bite marks? Hey. Very unusual ring. Uh, I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. Look like yeah. bruising on the forearms, and these look like bite marks. Yeah, they're bite marks. Very good. The, her nails are broken. Looks like she's fighting back. Her neck is bruised pretty badly. 
She got strangled. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. Interesting. It spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Surettes. It would make my theory. My morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Surettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Hey. Why do I have to look at every hairbrush? Probably nothing. Anything here? No? Let's check the bedroom. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. So an older man, probably. So that's a really weird... Uh, what do you call it? Hypothesis to make. This poor mo- that's not like... Looks like barbiturates. It doesn't really look like she took them, because like, you're just scattered throughout like somebody just poured them out of the bottle. Barbiturates. What else is rattling around in this thing? What's that? We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Yeah. Okay. Thing in the bedroom, bathroom is done and gone through. Roy's still a pompous ass. A photographer, let's see if I can get through here. Come on, thank you, sir. Thank you. Ah, that's the oh, they're there. This is all top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. Not it does. Beautiful girl. The clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. There's been a modeling assignment. I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson. I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. Oh, if you Mr. give the Henderson? details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. Would she have killed herself for a man? Miss Julie would never have killed herself. She was a very determined young lady. One of those people who shake the tree for all it's worth. Uh. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Men's smoking jacket I might be able to... Uh. Men friends, Mrs. Reynoldson. Spill it. I will not spread gossip about Miss Julia. She was very nice to me. I'm botching this I don't completely. care if she was the Virgin Mary sister. Who was she humping? You changed the sheets. You're disgusting. If you're going to take that tone, I won't answer any more questions. <laughs> what was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. 
lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? I got one of those right, I guess. Thanks, Mrs. Jeez. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement, and then you can go home. All right, let's go through the kitchen. I need to go through here. It's a freaking ladle, dude. Don't think this is anything. Yeah, why are you even looking at it? Uh huh. Nope. Why are we looking help. at all this? <laughs> I do not understand. Ooh. Uh huh. That's an iron. Good job, Cole. This is going to help us. Well, then why are you looking at it, Cole? I don't understand you. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's not that one. Maybe I need to do it to another picture. It's a place to start. <sighs> Something. Let's double check there's something behind this one. We are probably fine, but... Nope. Okay. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. And you're also both Texas prigs, so I don't really know what you want out of me. Okay, let's see where next. <coughs> we'll go to the doctors first. You can drive. Sure, so ain't. Go to the doctor, see why he was prescribing her, like the uppers and downers. So. Well, she was bipolar, that's what they, were, they would just do back in the day. Roy, what the absolute crap, dude? Where even are you, you stupid shit? I'm gonna beat you up later. I could just drive off and leave him here. Would you hurry up? My god. Slowest man ever. You're behind the wheel. You drive. Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast, you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. I Bukowski's like Stefan. a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. You could, Roy. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. I liked Rusty, kind of. I mean, he's definitely sexist, but that's also part of the course back in the 40s. And I really like Stefan. Stefan was a good guy. You're like the major dick, Roy. You're the one person that I cannot stand even at all. Way worse than Rusty. <laughs> Richard, cleaner! It's cleaner. That's cleaner tobacco. <laughs> hmm. 
Where else am I going, by the way? I've completely forgotten. <laughs> That's where I wanted to go. Where the hell did you take me? Eee! Maybe one more down? Is that what I need to go to? Oh no, I guess I am right. Alright. Need... 505? Here, Stoneman, Office 505. Shut the door. Lock Roy out. <laughs> Make him walk up the stairs. Every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. But if you locked up every doctor, there would be no one to save lives. There'd be no one to like, I don't know, do medical stuff. Shut up, Roy. Yes, sir. Your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Doctor Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with a patient. Would you like to wait? No. We can't. We wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. Even no Cole said they're like, rude. save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you. Uh, Maybe one gentleman. Please, I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Could you just go away? <laughs> Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. I was gonna wait. <laughs> Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? What you prescribed your upper zen uh, downer, so what's um, that about? Not if it doesn't compromise doctor patient privilege, detective. <laughs> How well did you know Miss Randall? Very little. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. She was disturbed, though. Not in the conventional sense. She had trouble sleeping. <laughs> ah, she's been meaner. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. What do I have here? Pen of Barbadol. Okay. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. Huh. We'll be in touch. No wonder she's all over the place, though. She's taking am pretty much amphetamine meth, right? Along with sleeping pills. <laughs> Not good. Maybe don't do that. All right, where next? Um, did I get everything at the apartment? I'm stumped. Ideas? What are we missing? Let's go back to the apartment. Uh, what am I missing, though? Because I really didn't think I was missing anything. Alright, so I keep opening and closing the elevator. There we go. Seriously, I thought I got everything. So we did good. Got it all cleared out. I went to all the rooms. The old boy is lying. Yeah, I know. About what? Don't know. He looked relieved when you said she was dead. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. You gotta roll your lures. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Well, okay. 
We're in apartment, see what we're missing, and then I guess we'll go to the dress shop because it's better than going. Have you nowhere. noticed how croakers only pull out the physician patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. Maybe Roy's problem is he's been on the streets too long. He's just seen too much of the darker side of humanity with the freaking drugs and prostitution and stuff. Which I'm surprised working vice and it's all drugs so far. There hasn't been a single prostitution case. Whoop. Let's see what we can find. Same thing, right? There's not like another side of it. Yeah. I didn't check this side. Nope. Hmm. Is that the bathroom again? What am I missing? We're here. What on earth am I supposed to be looking for? Any ideas? You want to go digging around in drains trying to support Mal's theory? You go ahead. I'm not getting my hands dirty. Oh, drains. Maybe... Okay, well, not that one. I don't think this is any use to us. Maybe it's not in the apartment. Maybe it's, uh... I don't know what else this is, too. So maybe it's, like, outside the apartment. Maybe there's, like, a storm drain or a manhole cover or something that... Oopsie. You can go find. Cause that would make more sense, because I'm pretty sure I searched that apartment pretty thoroughly. Be like out here. I don't really know. What am I missing? I don't know. This. 
What? Oh, I missed it. Well... Anything maybe back over here I missed? Back in this alleyway? Nope. Those are underground apartments. Hmm. I don't know. You know the way. You can drive. <coughs> I'm not sure where to find the, uh... Ninjas. <sighs> also, sorry my voice sounds like absolute crap. Allergy season is whooping my butt today. I love it so much. What? What am I missing? It's gotta be something so simple. Well, hello. What can I help you with today? Oh, can I buy my wife LAPD, one of these? LAPD, ma'am. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? Uh, she was found dead this morning. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested <laughs> in her than they were their wives' dresses. Oopsie. The wives weren't happy and neither was I. Oh, she hit on him back. Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? Please. I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? What do you have to, Cole? That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. That's never a good Henry thing. Is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. They were more than just friends. I won't tell you that right now. Okay? More than just friends. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. Uh. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? 
by being awesome. Are there any messages for me? Yes, detective. The coroner has been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. That sure was thing, really Mal, quick. We'll be right over. <laughs> I got bullshit. <laughs> I got bullshit. <laughs> You're behind the wheel. Where are we going? I know I'm still missing the, the syringes at the department, but I just don't know where to look for them. Nice move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. Not for long, because I'm going to finish Vice's episode, because I fucking hate you, Roy. Plus, it's like very obvious there's one more desk, but. I'm not going to be sad at all. I don't have to deal with Roy. Because Roy fucking sucks. Cause Roy... <laughs> What the fucking fuck happened to fucking You're the only him? Person what the hell? This, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising Look at the other two people. Of wounds, <laughs> so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. I can't believe this. Down here to gloat. We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. What about his case? All right, Mal. What gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Yikes. Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening. Shut no up, Roy. No sign of morphine <laughs> use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. I think when you do this for a long ass time. I'm looking at here. Is that her guts? What am I looking for? It's like spamming X because I have no idea what I'm actually looking for. Holy crap, dude. You got muff fucked. What is this? Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. It might be, I don't know. Corrupt. Sorry. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you That's next door. You were fucking Let me know how you get out. <laughs> thanks for the lead. No, you were. Sure, Mel. No. Thanks for the lead. Shut up, Roy. Okay, that's not crossed off, so I want to go back in there real quick and see what I'm missing, because... There's probably something, but they're not going to let me take the sheets up on my bed, because that'd be just not okay. Roy, out of my way! God damn. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm stumped. Let's go to the police station. Interview Henry. See what he knows. I know I'm missing some of Dave Hartman, but I just don't know where to find him. I might actually 
You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Okay, why did it go back in here? Let's go here. You can drive. But I want to go Do here. Do we know where we're going? Am I nearby or something? Oh, I'm right here. I'm stupid. Never mind. I'm dumb. It's cool. Arnett is an interview too, Phelps. Go help him get whatever it is off his chest. What did I, what did I miss? Yeah, I did. There we go. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. Years How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. And you were close? We were friends. <laughs> yeah, I Ms. guess Ms. Randall's we landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Do you have anything to accuse him on? Uh, I got a lot of circumstantial crap, but I don't have anything that gold ring set with four grain white pearl. Uh, I have Spill nothing it, Henry. Concrete. You know nothing about a man named Henderson? Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town. Somewhere back east. Yeah, he's sleeping with her. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? I'm screwing this up, though. No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? <sighs> Here's an intuition point, because I'm really screwing this up. That cop. So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. You're just being shifty as all hell. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. Some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. The Fighting Sixth. You were in the Sixth Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You're lying. You've been very helpful. Yeah, that man's not a Marine. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. <laughs> Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Why do I have to do this? He's in that car at the lights. Okay. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. Yeah, he's definitely sleeping with Julia.
brakes are freaking squeaky, Roy. Go get them checked out. You shouldn't squeak like that. <laughs> Take care of the damn car. Where are you taking us, Henry? Who knows? Jesus! Idiot never stepped foot in Okinawa. Nah, he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> he's definitely a dick, though. Jesus Christ. Needs money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Move in. <clears throat> risk losing the trail. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. much slack. Gotta get closer. I feel like I'm doing a lot of... What are you doing? Shit, see? Too much slack my ass, Cole. <laughs> I've got to go incognito, actually, so... Money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Okay, there's X. Double check in. Risk losing the trail. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Where's he going? Across now? I'm running. What are you doing? 
shit, I'll see him. <sighs> oh, okay. Let's get this. No, god dang it. My banishment for being stupid. Oh, shut up, cool. Needs money and fast. Shut up, Cole. Shut up. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Isn't that the cop who won the medal and is solving all the cases? Can you fucking... Can you fucking... Yeah, I kept trying to hit incognito and he wouldn't do it. No. Shut up, game. I would have probably had it that time. I, had, like, I don't know. Oh, my incognito actually worked. I asked it to do that. Ugh. Does our clothes keep changing over time? It's <laughs> money and fast. I feel like they do. Or his clothes never change, that's why I got his one suit. One suit Roy. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. There we Let's go this way. And then we'll skirt kind of wide here. Shit! I thought he was farther up. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> I will get it. Dang it. I didn't figure this out. I'm bored. <laughs> Her clothes do change over time. She was wearing a different skirt last time. It wasn't blue. <laughs> uh, Get in there and find out what he pawned. Uh, Let's no. with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Huff it, Phelps. One more. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Max, I literally would have had it that time.
off lady. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, he's a ways down there, so I should be set, I think. I'm like way down here. Oh, and what? I was- I knew where I was going, though! <laughs> Fine, yes, I'm done fighting it. Oh no! <laughs> Whoops. Fine, just skip it. I, I admit defeat. We won't spend all damn day on this. That's right, Mexico City. One-way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. Border jumper, huh? LAPD. The man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir. To Mexico City. Tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City. Tomorrow night. That's good. But this is better. What is that? Oh my god. It's Fabergé. Holy Should have seen crap. the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. Oh, I bet. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large. For a it's cigarette Fabergé. case. Like, Arnett it is only got 600 shit. clams. It's fucking Fabergé. It's like the primo shit. Dearest Beverly, huh? With love and affection. I need to check in, I think. I don't have anywhere else to go except the police station and the apartment, which I don't know where to find the searches at, because I can't think of anywhere else to look. There should be a payphone or something here. Ah, uh, yeah. Jaywalking. Jaywalker! Okay, right. there you go. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. <coughs> How could I help, Detective? Any messages? Detectives Bukowski and Galloway request you return to Hollywood Station. Nice. We have information in the Julia Randall case. Any luck with the arrest record check on Jimmy LeBlanc? Yes, Detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was Patrolman Fred Wallace. He's, he's posted the Hollywood 9th Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thanks. Okay. Um, let's go to the station for- oh, wrong one. Let's go to the station first. We'll see... What's this nation? Let's see what that leads me to. Back off! Thank you! Can you drive to this one? Yeah, you drive, Roy. Oh, we're just now. There we go. A one-way ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. What's his motive? <laughs> I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. So I've been trying to cut out my, um... My sniffles and all that junk, so it's not like all you hear. I hate allergy season so much. I'm so excited for when it's over in a couple months. Sir, I need the contraband list. Item stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Nosey. Is the cigarette case on there? Oh, Sergio Fabro, is that it is? It's here. 
Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Black Sapphire Ring. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. So he's a thief, huh? Anything else? Woo, 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 woo. Even the engagement ring was purloined. Jesus. Arnett is a cad. Clothing, ball gown, leather belt filled, Constantine watch, barbell, um, crystal decanter, silver pillbox. Seems Julia wasn't the first bored society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. How much of their stuff was stolen? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Not to intuition, so I wanted to go to case objectives. Was there anything else? Meet with patrolman Wallace and investigate the Edstrom residence. I still don't understand where the hell I'm supposed to find the syringes and whatnot. I might have to look that up while we load to the next spot because I'm just not knowing where I don't I don't know where to look for it. He said drain, so I looked at where there was a drain and it wasn't being in, it wouldn't let me look. So, I don't know what I did wrong. Ron, you need to wash your car. You can drive. Investigate apartment, Julia Randall, LA Noir. I'll stand to the music. <laughs> Okay, let's see what they say. <laughs> the trash next to the decorative potted plant along the cliff wall. Okay. I know where to look for it. I never would have looked there either. Right, let's give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace. Detective Phelps. Wallace. Go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. Ah, there he goes. Oh no, I ran into a fence. Oh, shit, there are a lot of them. A lot of them. Baby. No, he's there, right there. Stay in cover. Ah. <laughs> Push forward. Come on. Uh, come on. Find some cover. Let's move. Noise. All right. Now I know where to find the Sorette, though. <laughs> that was really bothering me. Thanks. Outstanding warrant. Armed robbery. Knocked over nice. a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. He nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. He got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. You've been a big help. You haven't done too badly yourself. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the uh, apartment. Now I know where to find the damn Sorette. 
I never would have looked where it is, too. Like, legitimately. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle opened up LeBlanc's skull. Could be. What if Henry is Willie? I mean, that's that's not. We know he's a, definitely a thief. He could have rebranded himself, remade himself. All right. So in, I never would have guessed this. Let's see. Left wall of the interior hallway leading to the stairs. So where's the stairs again? There it is. So I never would have looked here. So. This is a potted plant along the left wall of the interior hallway into the stairs. I never would have fucking looked. And potted plants? Wait, 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 no, no, no. So I think it might have been moved because it's not letting me do it. Maybe it's on the first floor. I never would have looked at a potted plant in the hallway. That is not something I would have ever done. What? <laughs> there it is. I never would have looked in the trash can. I never would have looked. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. The autopsy will confirm it one way or another. I never would have looked there. I think our work is done here. Oh my god. Literally never would have looked. Well. <clears throat> Faberge cigarette case. Holy crap. You're behind the wheel. Come on, Roy, you drive. Okay. <laughs> I never would have figured that one out. I'm so glad I luck now. Nice house. <clears throat> yep. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? She is. Would you follow me, sir? I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man? If you are returning 43 pieces of my property. 43? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks. Straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? 43 things. Holy crap. I don't have all 43. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> A priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Oh, she's up for something. She'd be a slow old lady. Why are you lying to me? Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Evestrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. Um... Could we found it? We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There. Are you satisfied? daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. 
I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. Like, don't. Don't. What can you tell us about the burglary? A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. We need to talk you about it. the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. Really? I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Hello, Detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same, the same question. question. You have met my daughter this morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, darling. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Stolen. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Oh. I want objectives. I want locations. I apologize. He was trying to live all like he's a big fancy guy. We're missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglaries. That's my fiance you're making scurrilous accusations about. He literally and did it, was lady. obviously his partner. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous, both of you. There's, there's a very good explanation for all of this. Shush. Put a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it. She's being played, but. I'm just trying to think what to do because he almost made it through with no accidents. Oh my god, the traffic in this game is so annoying. Traffic is also really annoying, so I guess it's true to life like that. I think Stoneman's in on it. Cause wasn't Beverly at something? Like she was at a dinner or something hosted by Stoneman, so I wonder if he's in on it. Where am I even going by the way? How far is it? Where am I? How do I? Ah, yes. Is this? Ah. That was no helpful. No helps. God. Your brakes. Roy. God, get him checked out. Fuck this.
well. God, how far away is his apartment? Good lord. I'll turn it off now, but my gosh, that was getting really annoying. Traffic's a real bad issue. Yeep. Okay, alrighty, just like that. Get around this way. Get around these motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, I squeeze two. Thanks. <laughs> Finally. I like it better when Roy drives. Seems faster. <laughs> Though why are we bringing the fiance along? Like legitimately, that seems really dangerous and foolish. Come on, sister. Let's find out <coughs> who your fiance really is. Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, are you a resident? LAPD detectives. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett? Um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, bet you five bucks he's got another woman with him. I bet. Well. Isn't this just nice and awkward? <laughs> it's pretty awkward, Roy. Not gonna lie. What on earth are you? Get him! Stop! LAPD! Him, Cole, this guy's our case. Go on. Put get your out, hands bro. in the air. Son of a gun, aren't Give you? it up, LAPD. Shit. What the hell? I'm literally. Mm. No. God, I'm all tangled up. Hold on. There we go. <sighs> These ones are the worst thing. And I keep going like straight forward. Why can't I just skip cutscenes? Why? <laughs> Why, Rockstar, did you not let me skip cutscenes? Stop! LAPD! Don't kill him, Cole. This guy's our case. Go on, just put your hands in the it. air. I'd rather just blow his leg at this point. Give it up, LAPD! Nope, nope, I want you over more. I like that they have him just wait there because, like, they know this part's tricky. There we go, cool. Dodge, you bitch. 
Don't you man. Cool. Cool. Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How'd I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. You came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. <laughs> How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? Yes, yeah, check this. Oh, look at that. You told Heather you're honeymooning without her? Can I not flip it? No? Okay. Oh, that's my hat. By the way. I mean, it's just a flashlight, Cole. What do you want to look Junk. at? This doesn't pertain to the case. Yeah, I don't even know what you're looking at, though, dude. There it is. It doesn't appear to be connected. Search the apartment real quick. Doesn't look like anything. I mean, it looks like a bullet. Won't let me leave until we've finished this, Detective. So you'd best get on with it. Well, fine. I didn't mean that now. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. Do I think to directly accuse him? Miss Swanson might be gullible enough to believe your story, Arnett, but I'm not buying. You're involved in a burglary scam, and so was Julia Randall. I'm a legitimate businessman. I can't speak for Julia. I should have accused him. I just don't know what to accuse him Why for. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop, to, to get out of that life. I was going to marry Heather if she'd have me. Julia told the others that, that they were out. That she was going to create a, a new gang. I mean, I don't really have anything to go with that one. But why kill her? She always looked down on those two. When she told them that she was cutting them out, they, they swore to get even with her. Well, that should have been a dick. Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson. Give it up, Arnett. You're facing the gas chamber. Give the judge some reason to commute. You still don't get it, do you? Julia entrapped everyone. She was so beautiful. And so goddamn cold. Henry Arnett, you were under arrest for burglary up. and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. 
Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. I was wondering because Stillman was also like the host in the, um, what do you call it? The dinner you know the way. Really was you can drive. She got robbed. I guess the wedding's off. He only <laughs> robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, Roy. Right, Roy? I didn't Roy? box in the Marines, though, did I? I should have never told you that. <laughs> well, I've cooked this case up pretty well tonight. <laughs> Time for the doctor to give us something to make this all better. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett. And tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. I'm so glad you came. Prison will be better than insanity and I'm already half insane with grief do you know that I loved her like twice her age my life for her and yet I still love her will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies they organized the robberies Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties it didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. It's not about the thrill. She never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Oh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. <laughs> He thought he was actually a really good boss and shit. No one. Not my wife, or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. What have I done? No, 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 no! Ah! Didn't see that coming. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. I need an ambulance and the coroner immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Ivor Street, Hollywood. Well, no, I need an ambulance. Detective, you have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. Got it. On our way. We have an address for the runner. 
Let's try and wrap this up then. That old boy really fell for that broad. She was incredibly beautiful. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. He's also married. You're talking from experience. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. <sighs> Fuck, I hate you, Roy. <laughs> God damn, do I hate Roy? Good luck, dude. I've got friends that work at the exam. Bring him How about what I've Thank God friends. I didn't park there. <laughs> You're behind the wheel. Just for that, you can drive. You're fucking rude. Ugh. He's around here somewhere, a big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this, the kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. <laughs> a harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Think he knits as well? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. We don't want him to bolt on us. I think you're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, no, I think I'm supposed to turn, like, legitimately. Wait. Pull. You hear that? Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up. Why was that? Okay, this one. Oh, goddamn, Roy. Jeez, how high up did this guy go? There we go. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless you grew wings. There he is. Waste the son of a bitch. Maybe up there, I wonder. Can I just not shoot him?
I mean, I had to. Son of a bitch really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. <laughs> Do you now? That's very generous of you. Lieutenant. Uh, I like that he picks on Roy. <laughs> Uh. One more. It's like the last case of arson. We are done with ar or not arson. Some vice. Vice, and then we'll move on to arson next time we play. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? He's in the shot. Scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole. Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. What a cost. Fuck, no wonder he doesn't talk about the fucking war. Jeez. Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Well, I guess Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Well, no, I mean, you're not yeah, gonna. I was on the street for fucking months, probably. God damn it. We just can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. There we go. I have that my already locked. Yep. One level club. You drive. 
I need to go over the case notes. Oh, we'll let you drive your fancy stupid car here. Right? You can drive. Parker and Green are going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. I'd laugh before he gets fired because he's a freaking sexist douche. It's literally the worst. <sighs> Come on, load up. You can do it. I believe in you. My back hurts. Homicide guys are already inside. Was the rest Stefan again? Bukowski. Yay. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD. Don't tell me. Vermont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Stefan, you old fucking cat, you. All right. Never the same. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. I mean, it's probably nothing. Yep, big fat hunk of nothing. Awesome. Pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Right? Jeez. Who's that? Matchbook. Cigarette and empty beer bottle. Great. Moving on. Ooh, man, you got screwed up. Okay. So your pockets, nice tie. <laughs> we have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? I don't know. Good question. How much of it did we grab? Did we ever find out? Nope. There we go. That's what I want. Anything here to look at? Nope. Cool. Um, hmm. Let's see. Army surplus again. Mm. Goldrick must have been moving contraband through the club. Dozen packs to a carton, hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. I mean, for a club, yeah. Can I open it or anything? I look inside. No. Okay. All right. A goon. These look brand new. Never fired. Haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. 
This guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Right, though? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that catch ship. All the good ones, Phelps. What's this one? I see. Does this say anything to worry about? That's a cigarette. Nope, don't even put that. Put that. Yeah, that's a damaged pack. I know I talked to the hostess, but I want to check. Is there any other rooms I needed to go through real quick? Yeah. Can you here at all? No? Alright. Alright, fair enough. Yeah. It comes. Safe I didn't is even open? try to crack the safe. Hey, buddy. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Oh. Nope. That's what they want. In there. Let's make sure there's nothing here. Never know. Always check. Okay. Another animal over here for me to check out? Okay. Talk to the hostess now. Ma'am, I'm Detective <laughs> Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. I'm sure it does. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Well, you must have some thoughts. We get all types in here, officer. Yeah, I read that Tell one. us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, Matt. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Hey, man. That's what you do? He's a decent boss? All right. Never the same, are they? All right, oops, flash here. Ah. What am I doing next here? Me with the robber detectives. Yeah, see what else was taken off. Wait, right, go back. Go back. Oh, it's Stefan. Oh, but Stefan, I want to be your partner again. I hate Roy. Find anything interesting? Did he just completely vanish? Did I go on this? Why did I go? Why did I go back here, right? I'm at a loss. Best search the place, Cole. All of the rooms. A joint like this could have some funny stuff lying around. It means I'm missing something again. God damn it. There's gonna be some weird ass spot. I'm gonna check all the trash bins now. I looked at the guns. Why would you ever grab a gun and point it at your face? That is the stupidest thing. Even if it's not loaded, you always treat them like they are loaded because holy crap. Oops. What was it I missed? Well maintained. 
custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. You catch all the good ones, Phelps. What's that click? It was a click. Was it for all of them? Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Hello. He kept his stash close at hand. We should follow up on the musician angle. That's it. So what next? Back to the station. We need to. Okay, I did find one. I needed to fight cool. Detail. See you later, Stefan. Miss you. Can you drive to this one? I would rather move the flirt than this freaking misogynistic ass. Mm. Oh man. Rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Ah, knows we are hitting prostitution. Of course, everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. True. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. Change the law. So Cole's right. He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Just change the law. Make prostitution legal. Decriminalize drugs. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Cool Ridge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. Change the law. Just this legalize way. Legalize prostitution. And then, you know, decriminalize. I don't want, I don't like, I don't think illegal drugs will get ever legalized, but maybe decriminalize them for a good first step. Bump up Eric, some social programs for rehab. You got a minute? Sure, Cole, anytime. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompson's, crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? Oh, come on, it's right there. Uh, Alvaro, I Epstein. Epstein! Dang it, I want to... Jack Kelso? Okay, well, I guess maybe I have to find the, um... 
enough to arm three companies. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. This is the crate we recovered. Half a million surrettes loose on the streets of Jesus, L.A. I don't think we recovered all of them. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. But Goldrick. The Goldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. Goldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Thanks, Harry. Stay in touch on this. I saw my culture. You wouldn't say anything. Um. Go back to my someone else. Yes. Yeah, investigate the blue room. Okay. Dumb. Up. Oh boy. Well, I guess that is. There we go. Oh, they don't park in front anymore. I forget. Every time I forget, they don't park in the front. You drive. you drive. I need to go over the case notes. How I'm well did you know the life. owner? A Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. So you should have hired a manager, right? So you buy the business and then you hire a manager to run the business and then you have all this time to do nothing. That's how you do it. I think his name is Phelps. I read about him in the paper. Who are you talking to? Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? <laughs> Good point. We don't. Shut up. What we Roy? care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries, Undustunfuhrer? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! Hey, nice. Nice. How about you get a drink while I see to this? Good job, Cole. Can we, like, kill Roy? Is that an option? Because I'd, I'd be down for that. Will you sit down? I don't know what she said either. I don't speak a lick of German. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. I'm not looking to arrest users. I'm after the supply. You just don't get it, do you? Some people can't live without heroin. I guess I should be meaner. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He 
loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. Very noble. But... Words are just words, Colfax. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? <sighs> Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. I love how I'm not good at like the people following, but I'm decent at the car one. <laughs> Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. What is she up to? Wife and children, Cole. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. 
Roy, snap him out of it. I hate to have to ask you to do anything, but. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Top of my class, back east. Now I'm waiting for you. Cole, I'm so disappointed in you. She wants a five star goddamn. I am so disappointed in you, Cole. That cherry pie was. LAPD, we have some questions Hi, regarding. Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine, just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? You're gonna stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? I don't know, do you? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. I can't accuse him, can I? No. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. You have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright in that easy. We'll see. Fantastic. Detectives. KGPL is going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. Uh, they want that every shit? car. Go! Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Again, if you have the jitters, you should probably not be drinking. Oop, wrong way. That was dumb. I wish you'd hurry up and propose already. I won't make me Units 
49 William, 15 Adam, go to 1370 Gordon Street. Establish a perimeter and stand by for further. Any other units to respond, code 3, identify. Unit 19 Adam, meet the officer Down at here? Oh, okay, I see. Fountain Avenue. Assist unit 49 William, transporting an injured citizen. 19 Adam Handle. Off the bus. Oh, All right. Oh. Damn. Damn. I mean, you but do not have time to aim. Holy crap. Down. Jesus, I've hit you in the head like four times. You're clear, go! Stay in cover! How many headshots is this guy gonna take? Gosh. Ah! Nope, shouldn't have gone. <laughs> Damn it. No, shut up. I should go. Stay down. Move, I've got ya. Like around? Officer down at 1384 North Bronson. Ambulance is en route. Repeating, all units. Officers still need help on Bronson. Approach with extreme caution. Can I get up the back? Hey, I can. Nice. I'll take it. Move, I got ya! LAPD, drop the gun now! in here? Nope. Nope. Well, nothing there. Something there? Phone number and restaurant table. Well, that was where we were at with uh, Mickey, right?
Okay. It's one of the BARs. Of course it is. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? <laughs> this is my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone <clears throat> took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Shut up, Roy, you stupid racist prick. I literally hate you. Literally would have danced if you had died. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Felix, that morphine is turning up everywhere. People are dying. You got something you want to tell me? I'm a bus driver. Do I look like I run a dope racket? <laughs> I should have been meaner, I guess. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Yeah, except I have this. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? Remember he fucking was. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying his story? Not for a minute. We'll say, yeah. Uh... Um, where? Ah, okay. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack. <laughs> I hate him so Just much. A second. I yeah. It is starting to come together with the um Jack Kelso, war flashback, so apartment four, fourteen oh eight North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thank you. Uh, that's all I have. All right. You know the way. You can drive. Oh, fun, fun. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. Jack was also. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. The fact that Jack's involved means it's going to be real fucking hard to break him because Jack's always kind of been a bit of a dick. Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. 
Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. <laughs> that sounds like Jack. God dang. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You'd better watch your mouth. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Then you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. Goldrick had three of them. The goddamn fool. Okay, I guess I should be nicer. What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. <sighs> People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. I don't even like him. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Damn it. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Man, would I love to know. Ah, yes. <laughs> Had to force it, but yeah. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. Oh, what the hell? I know I couldn't fucking smash that. Is 
says, why the hell can I not smash little dinky shit like that? That's insane. There we go. Can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. You know what? I'm fucking working on it, Roy. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Fuck. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Watch it. These guys aren't gonna go quietly. Open fire! Stop! Stop the car and get out! Throw out the guns. Where's the other guy? Okay. In this arm? Nope. Cool. About your face? Nope. Well, well. Copy the manifesto, huh? LAPD, LAPD copy. LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Oh, hey. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brenda Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow. <gasps> you. Would be off you board. motherfucker, Roy. So, what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Oh, you rat. You! <laughs> Nothing I can do about it either. 
to investigate that body. Well... Oh. I think I did everything, didn't I? Chinese theater and post office. Oh my god. Roy's gonna fucking sell out coal. Holy shit. Can you drive to this one? I see that coming. Howie. Or you already did technically sell them out, I guess. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. I cannot believe you sell out. Hi! <laughs> I can tell you I cannot believe we're selling out coal. I'm so sad. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Do it. <laughs> um, I think we going through here, right? Eek, I don't really know. I'm just really making it up. Sorry. Please get out of the way. I'm not that great of a driver. Get out of the way. Life has been, it's been fun, but like, I really don't like Roy. <laughs> I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Oh my God, Roy, shut up. I literally don't like you at all. Drop. Ah, I'm reading their next football field. That kind of sucks. Oh my God, oh my God, no. This is such a... It's no good! We need to get closer! LAPD! Put your hands in the air! But, yeah, I was like, isn't he dead? I shot him twice in the back. Where is Mr. Hollywood? God, I hate him, though! He's so horrible! <laughs> Well, guys, my siren's still going. <laughs> it's less than that. <coughs> I don't have a Discord. No, I'm I'm not even like at affiliate level. I'm literally just at um whatever the basic 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 is. Okay, well, I guess it's off the post office, and let's hope uh that ends up better. But I doubt it. Roy, get in, you drive. You know the way. You can drive. Get in, Roy. <coughs> oh my gosh. I have been thinking about starting a Discord, but it is like... Once I hit 50 followers, I'll probably start doing more like that. I'll probably up my streaming schedule as well when I hit 50, so... Okay. 
You're covered, Phil. I can't get him from where he's at. Stay down. <laughs> I see you. I will check it out, so I'll do that much at least. Ooh, pop my neck. And more clues, Mr. Sellout, Mr. Horrible Person, Mr. Person I want to smack in the face. <sighs> I hate you, Roy. <coughs> Tell Courtney. B bad luck. It was worth a try. <sighs> well, let me go to the thing. Yeah, thank you. You have a good night, too. God. Why can't I? Thank you. Now I finally get to do this. Polar Bear. Polar Bear Ice Company. It really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? I don't know. No, I cannot check his jacket pockets or whatever. This way over. Okay, I guess not. That is still the wrong button. I will eventually hit the right button. I have no idea when that's going to happen, but eventually. Okay, I need to find a new objective then. your pockets, sir. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. That's probably where we just need to go next. I'm just going to make sure there's not anything else on him. Never know. Juski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why do they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Shut up. I mean, I'm kind of upset with Cole for being, for cheating, but like, whatever. Don't be such a dick, Roy. Everything hurts. Okay. You're behind the wheel. Beautiful day. Where are you going, Cole? Can you drive to this one? This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Hmm.
Keep moving, I'll cover you. Stay down. Keep moving. Okay, cool. That was a close call. Gonna run for it after them. Get in cover. Okay, dead. Perfect. Oh. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB on the Car 11K. Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. You can drive. Damn right you're driving. if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap... No buts. This is more important. Is he getting fired? I would laugh. You think the Vice Boy's getting... You're an interview too, Phelps. There's a quack in there with him. Oh, great. What gives? Beats me. Word came down from the chief. Said it was okay. I want to make homicide. Sheldon. You know you've made it if you... Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. You. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Cool Ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, Sheldon? sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Jack isn't scared of you, Phelps. And none of us were. We just followed your orders. Yeah. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But... It doesn't mean that I was involved. How do you think this is going to play out, Courtney? It's either going to be you or Jack. What's this got to do with Jack? Jack would never be involved in anything like this. But you would. He has already denied any wrongdoing. 
You're have annoying. you finished, Detective? I fucked that up again. I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? What? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. Uh, this is about... I know what this is about. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. For fucking and your what, bro? Don't, don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. Oh, I forgot that was illegal back in the day. cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until you're bored hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? I forgot that was illegal back in the day. <laughs> Huh? Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? <laughs> For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? You're not answering. Cole! What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Marie. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. You should've fucking stayed. You should've fucking stayed home with your goddamned wife. We don't have much sympathy because you fucking cheated, Cole. She ain't gonna take you. So I'm disappointed. Oh my god. Cole! Keep it in your goddamn pants, Cole! Demoted. That's how I get to arson. Why? Why would you do that? Okay, I'm good now. <sighs> so dumb. <laughs> so very, very dumb. <sighs> Alright, 
So I'm gonna cause it here. I'm gonna call it for the night. We'll start arson when we come back. Oh my god, Cole, you fucking idiot. <laughs> ah! Okay, we're on arson now, so... I will be back, let's see, today's Tuesday, so we'll be back Thursday, and hopefully we'll finish up Final Fantasy VII then. I'm on the final chapter, so it should be good. So we'll come back to Cole on Sunday and see how, well, see how many more bad decisions he makes. See you later.